Oh! Oh shit! Yo! Hang on! Why did my guy throw himself at the building? Oh my god, he's just like, I'll just commit suicide instead of letting myself get caught. All right, what's up, everybody? We are back with the second episode of The Flash. Yeah, so I just actually came off of watching the premiere, which was very enjoyable for sure. Um, I mean, the main thing that I obviously want to know about is like, was the dude, you know, Dr. Wells, actually responsible for what happened to, uh, to Barry's mom? It does seem like it, right? With like what they're teasing at the very end of the episode about him having lied about his like disabilities now, just stepping out of that wheelchair, whatever, the secret room that he's got for himself where he's planning to basically have Barry involved in some kind of accident in the future or something. It's interesting too, because I'm pretty sure it's meant to be pretty damn far into the future. Although I'm actually not sure. When is this show supposed to be taking place? Do we know the year? I mean, I would think that it's supposed to be taking place in the year that it was broadcast, which would have been 2014. And so this might be something that he's got planned out for like 10 years from now. But that being said, it could be that this is actually supposed to be sort of like taking place in the near future, which obviously is the present in our time. But <laughs> still, that this is going to be relatively imminent. But I guess we'll still be uh, finding out about that. Anyway, the dude is up to no good. That's very clear to me then by now um and so yeah it's 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 even more messed up because obviously barry's own dad is locked up in prison and he's held accountable for uh barry's mom's murder when we know that the dude is innocent so we gotta find some way to at least prove that he didn't do it even if that would mean not being able to catch the actual perpetrator in the meantime as fast as possible i would hope we've got some interpersonal dramas going on right where like barry likes iris but he's you know grown up with iris as like basically his uh, stepsister in the wake of that accident that happened with his parents and so things are a little weird there she's now in a relationship with the other guy who's at the police force and so what's going to happen there right i mean who really is to say iris dad right now at least is on our side when it comes to um actually getting to the bottom of this whole mystery but the main question does remain why in the first place was Barry's mom killed? Like, what did they ever get themselves involved with to be basically in this mess, right? You'd also wonder if that accident that then happened at the Stars Labs or whatever was an accident in the first place, right? Because the dude clearly did not suffer the inabilities that he says he did. Did they want Barry, therefore, to, like, get these powers this way? Was it always designed like that or what exactly is going on a lot of mysteries to be um yeah resolved over these uh, these coming seasons episodes who's to say this show is a lot of episodes by the way in total so if i'm gonna be able to get through the full thing then i'll be here for quite a while but anyway guys we're going to dive into this new episode and of course if you want early access to the next eight plus episodes straight away then you'll wait you'll be able to actually watch those right now over on my patient page which is going to be linked on top of the description go and check it out I also post my full-length reactions over there if you'd like to see my reactions to the episodes in their entirety. But yeah, then with that being said, let's dive into episode two of The Flash. This is the part where I'm supposed to do the whole intro thingy. Barry <laughs> Allen, fastest man alive, but you know all that already. All right, let's get to the good stuff. Gotta love how they're uh, breaking the fourth wall at times. I'm going 352 miles an hour, and it's a slow day. This is ladder 52. We're still at least two minutes out. He definitely does give you Spider-Man vibes at times, doesn't he? Like the way that, well, Arrow, by the way, was using some like weird web slinging or grappling hook type stuff, which was reminding me of it already, but also just kind of the light heartedness of it all, the way that Barry talks, even the city here. I don't know which city this is supposed to be. I'm pretty sure it might be Florida to be fair, but it kind of, uh, you know, kind of looks New Yorkish. Oh. Oh, she's caught in the fire. That's bad. Who are you talking to? No one. Are you talking to Barry? Who? Barry Allen, struck by lightning, was in a coma. <laughs> months, woke up being able to run faster than the speed of sound. Ring a bell? No. What a way to do the recap. Okay, so they're like executing some of their own secret missions in their spare time, I guess, huh? Mommy! Wow. <laughs> she couldn't even blink and was already outside. What else you got for me, Cisco? Barry, it's Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin. <laughs> How's your day? 
Yeah, just going on a nice walk over here. Definitely not getting ourselves into trouble. Have you both lost your minds? You can't be running around the city like some supersonic fireman. Why not? This is what we talked about. Me using my speed to do good. Yeah. I mean, I don't get it. Like, she's worried about you putting yourself at risk, helping actual people out, but then she's cool with you going after a bunch of guys who are going to be much bigger threats <laughs> because they'd have similar powers to more than in the last episode, sure. Will you please say something? I think what Caitlin is saying, in her own spectacularly angry way, is that we are just beginning to understand what your body is capable of. Yeah, I no longer like this dude now. I distrust him completely. Hey, uh, anything happen out there today? The sensors in the suit were kicking back some weird telemetry, like your vitals spiked for a few seconds. Never felt better. Okay, yeah, so there's something weird with him going on, because he was, he had these, like, had a complaints for a brief second there too, right? So is this part of Dr. Wells' programming now or something? Ah, man, I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm distrusting everything. I got a fresh crime scene, a dead body, detectives interviewing witnesses. Miles of that yellow tape stretched over everything. I'm only missing one thing. Can you guess what that is? You. I'll be right there. <laughs> when do you think you'll realize he didn't take his clothes? Oh, God. Yeah, I can't show up in that suit. I mean, he can just go back like that too, right? Perp made off with a bunch of handguns, at least six Glock 19s fitted with extra ammunition magazines. Somebody's looking to do a whole lot of bad. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, this guy. Uh, fall shopping, Mr. Allen? This guy really just bought new clothes and left the fucking stickers on. I downloaded surveillance footage off the video camera. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's yeah. Only one perp. Okay. An actual regular criminal, though, or... I was wondering, somebody with superpowers? Uh, footage may only show one, but it was six guys. Six sets of footprints, six guns stolen. We should be looking for a crew. Huh. Weird. The shoes, looks like they're all the same size. So, it could be the same person, maybe. I mean, I would suspect we are going to be finding somebody with powers. I doubt we're going after normal people anymore. You haven't said anything to Iris about all this, have you? No, I made you a promise. I keep my promises. Keep on lying like that. You'll never get struck by lightning again. <laughs> get up. To again. <laughs> wow. I guess he's had his experience. Get him, getting him, like, out of trouble. I was there that night. I saw. There was a man. Yeah, I know. We've gone through this already. Then why can't I go see him? I hate you! <sighs> Damn, man. Yeah, I mean, I totally get his struggle. Like, and it's funny because it's only now that my guy over here is realizing Barry was right this entire time, right? But still, dude, that's such a troubled upbringing. <laughs> yeah, that is one way to speed up the process. So sure, that'll come in handy when you've got a broken device. This is all of your fault. Again. I could have taken European folklore to cover my sociology requirement, but... Yo, he's got some weird side effects going on, man. Hey, Alan. Joe asked me to see where you're at on the evidence from the gun store shooting. Oh, hey, Iris. Detective? Please, guys. Uh, just yeah. Sorry. <laughs> right, you know, I was gonna remember? say... No need to hide it anymore. He knows. Oh God! Oh, oh God! Thanks for being so cool about this, Barry. I know it's not easy keeping a big secret. I'm getting used to it. Yeah, if only you knew. Thank you all very much for coming. Who is this guy? Simon Stagg's work in cellular cloning has led to huge advancements in the future of organ replacement. Are journalists allowed to drink on the job? Okay, if you. Barry is so passionate about. Scientists. I thought maybe you've been avoiding me because of Eddie. I know you think it's wrong, me dating my dad's partner, and I just... No, that is not it. At all. No, it's literally about him. Honestly, still, I mean, maybe it's just me, but I feel like the way she behaves herself around him is still, like, a little sort of teasing at times. But, I mean, maybe she's just like that, I guess. Personalities differ. So, 
What were you gonna tell me? You look like you're about to say something. Yeah. yeah. Another time. Oh shit! Yo, it's the same guy. It's the same guy from the fuck fucking store. You're all wearing your finest jewelry. Oh. Almost like you knew we were coming to rob you. It really is six people, isn't it? Very identical people, though. I think they're meant to be like the same person. He can split himself up. D -d 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 oh, wow. Obviously firing all at the same time. I couldn't tell if they looked the same. Hard to detect their face. Damn. And he fainted. What is all that about? Surely it's purposefully done by Dr. Wells. Where were you? Dad, go easy. I found him outside. He fainted. Do you want me to get you a paramedic, Alan? No, I'm fine. Thanks, Eddie. I thought I was dead. Oh, yeah, he'd love to make you look weak. And what were you going to do when you caught them? Huh? Ask them not to pull over? You're not bulletproof. Wait, are you? No. But... Okay. No more heroic. He can regenerate, though. Just about the same thing. And you know Iris is not stupid. Start making better excuses than I fainted. Yeah, you can only get away with that so many times. You of all people should know that in science we share. We do not keep secrets. Wow, I haven't seen anyone. Yeah, again though, how do we not know that my guy over here has been wanting him to experience this the whole time? You sure about this, Cisco? Most home treadmills have a maximum speed of about 12 miles per hour. This one has been cisco Trust me, it can yeah. handle your speed. Oh, he can run on it <laughs> without actually <laughs> moving 50 miles. Damn. Heart rate, blood pressure, nerve conduction, all normal. Oh, yeah. This looks all normal to me. Okay. I got the glucose levels. Oh, my God. Of course. Right? It was so Glucose awful. levels. Barry, we think we know why you keep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yo, is this only the first time he's noticing all the taps that he kept on the situation around his dad? Where's Barry? Taking a shower. If I go up those stairs, am I going to see Barry Allen? Or are you going to be grounded for a week for lying to me? I'm sorry, Daddy. But don't worry. I know where he went. And he keeps being reminded of how Barry used to go, well... Go missing, go, go, you know, investigate, I guess, right? Against his permission. I've done a few calculations. You need to consume an amount equal to roughly 850 tacos. Damn. Unless we're talking cheese and guac, which is like a whole other set of equations. Yeah, let's not calculate that. That's a lot. When I couldn't find you at your lab, I started doing a little research. Turns out there's been reports of a red streak around the city stopping muggers uh this is bad though they know that he knows my guy could get in trouble over here like 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 uh, i don't trust fucking wells whatsoever anymore man detective we all want what's best for barry if you wanted what was best for barry you try to talk him out of this lunacy yeah no he's his personal pet project apparently you think because you can run real fast that you're invincible you're not you're just a kid my kid. I'm not your kid. Yeah. I was about to say, that is not how he sees it. My father's sitting in Iron Heights. And you're wrong about this. Now, I may not be able to help him, but if I can save someone from a burning building or stop some armed thieves, I'm gonna do it. He is old enough to go his own path now. Joe is definitely a little too much of a control freak. He's got the, he's got the good intentions, of course. Where's the rest of your crew? Just me. What do you want, Black? The only thing I still want in life, your boss, dead. You'll do what I ask, Mr. Java. <laughs> oh, shit. No, he won't. Oh, no. What's he gonna do about this now? Oh, yeah, he's splitting himself up. Exactly like I suspected. He is his army. I am an army. Called it. 
Oh, damn. Brutal. Why is my dad mad at you? Work stuff. I love how she does address him as my dad. <laughs> we grew up one bedroom down from each other. Do you honestly think that I don't know when you're happy or sad or depressed or lost? I'm going to ask you one last time, Barry Allen, and you better be honest with me. What the? Oh. I don't know what's happening. I'm fast now. <laughs> Oh, man. He's giving her the whole explanation, but she's not even going to notice. It is a sad fact of life, Detective, that when you earn a lot of money, people who haven't think they can take yours. People like this guy, for example? Danton Black? Danton Black. You fired him, and now he's suing you? Unfortunately, our working relationship wasn't successful. Oh. But I can assure you both of one thing. Oh, it's personal to him. He got fired. I want these people caught as much as you. Then here we are. Damn. Oh, shit. Damn, dude. Oh, my God. They're now getting... They're getting in the middle of the crossfire here. Oh, shit. The whole police is being gotcha. called in. Look on? at this. Not now, Barry. An armed gunman shooting up Stag Industries. Show us that. Yep. Just like I said, right in the crossfire. It's once again interesting how Danton Black seems like such a random person to have gotten these powers, though. Because it sounds like the dude was a nobody before. Go. Oh. oh. <laughs> you don't have a choice. We are not going anywhere until Simon Stagg is dead. Um... How about you die first? Oh shit. Oh wow. Yo, he punched a new he punched a couple new versions out of him. Wow. Yeah, that was a close call. I mean that's the interesting part. They can still just die by gunfire, right? Just like we saw last episode. All it takes is one shot. Good shot. Apparently Stag stole his research and then fired him. I saw Black create duplicates from his own body. That's pretty ironic. The guy specialized in cloning and now he can make Xeroxes of himself. Yeah, okay, not so random after all then. He did study all this stuff. So was he like purposefully handpicked then? To be getting these powers? By Wells, probably? This wasn't a grand enterprise, Dr. Wells. This was a mistake. Probably did not like hearing that uh, answer. Dad! Sorry. No physical contact. Wow. He's a fucking kid, man. How the fuck dare you? Joe wouldn't bring me. He wouldn't let me see you. I hate him. No, no, don't, don't say that. It isn't Joe that doesn't want you to come here. I don't want you to come here. I don't want you to see me. Wow. I feel so bad for him, man. He's so worried for how his son is going to see him. Okay, now Joe's going to look after you until I can get out of here. You just be the good boy that your mom and I know you are. Still talking about his mom in the present tense, too. And he's looking at Joe. And in the meantime here, Joe actually does suspect that Barry... Oh, sorry. Yeah, Barry's dad was the one who killed the mom. This shit is so fucked up all around. I love the constant flashes and the transitions too. The shooter's whereabouts are unknown at this time. We consider him armed and extremely dangerous. Oh Thank my you, god. No Look at him all smug. He got a chance to shine. So did you come here for caffeine or are you finally going to tell me what's going on with you? I swear to god, every line of her sounds flirty. <laughs> I've increased my security, detective. I hope Black comes looking for trouble. Because he'll find plenty. No, you you are way underestimating him. Oh, God. Spoken like a true philanthropist. Or is it humanitarian? Ugh. I'm sorry. I, I can never remember which one you're pretending to be, Simon. I don't think you're going to like this dude showing up. This guy that tried to kill Simon Stagg today, he could... Replicate spontaneously. Yeah, we know. Did you know about Barry? Okay, but if, if the other guy just now is actually Harrison's rival... 
it's clear why he'd want him to be killed and, and he would pick his targets very purposefully, right? He would pick Danton Black to get these powers to go after him. I was never looking to become the senior member of a secret crime fighting unit. You and I both know we are the only ones equipped to protect Central City. Maybe I'm more interested in protecting Barry. But of course, he's all set to fly into the fire right along with you. So this place is called Central City. So it's like supposed to be a fictional town. I wonder where they shot this. He doesn't think he's capable. Doubt is his real enemy. And as long as you continue to doubt him, he'll keep doubting himself. Interesting. And for the record, I care about him too. Yeah, you want that idea to come across to everybody, but I got more than a couple concerns. I came to say I'm sorry, and you're right, I have been distant. Correct. Kind of a jerk. You should apologize more often. You are really sensational at it. Hmm. I'm done. <laughs> I know this is gonna sound crazy. It's been all over the internet this week. Something out there is... <laughs> I thought you were taking journalism, not science fiction writing. Oh my god. Wait, now she's gonna turn into a Mary Jane? <laughs> Barry, it's okay. It is not okay. Black is here and he's just standing there. That's not him, is it? No. It's one of his replicates. How did you get it? I grew him. Grew him? Like a plant? The clones are an empty shell without Black. Shut down the real Black and you might shut them all down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like most video game bosses that clone themselves. Just hit the real one. So, look for the one showing signs of weakness or fatigue. He's the prime. Interesting. Just a theory, but one you might want to put to the test. The weakest one is the one to focus on. <gasps> oh, God. What? Yo! <laughs> My guy just came in here shooting. Why did it start moving? Prime. I guess as the prime is on the move, this one heard the summons to battle. Damn, yeah, he did attack him, though. Oh, he was going to. Police can't fight this. What blacks become, like Martin? Beyond me. Maybe way beyond them, too. Look at him, man. Not beyond Acknowledging you. exactly what uh, what Barry said. So for once in your life, do what I tell you to do. Go stop them. He's come around, man. Great to see. Freeze. Don't move. Okay. And Black just showed up here again. I mean, we know exactly where he'd be. Oh, God. Hello, Danton. Goodbye, Simon. Damn. <laughs> I was going to say, it's not exactly uh, hard to know where you're going to find Black. I know Stag stole your research, but that doesn't give you the right to murder. Wow. Wow. Matrix style. Oh, shit. Yeah, time to flash our way through and actually find the weak clone. Or the, well, the one that's not a clone, therefore. She was my wife. She had a degenerative coronary disease. I was so close until Stag stole my research so he could reap. Wow, so my guy is actually semi-responsible for a death. That's fucked up. Damn, yeah, I understand why it's so personal to him. Holy shit. Okay, there is not a maximum of six. We can produce a whole lot more. There's too many of them to fight. Barry, you need to isolate the prime. I can't. It's impossible. Nothing's impossible, Barry. You taught me that. You can do this. I mean, I don't know how we'd go about this either. If there's so many clones, shouldn't there be one that can't even walk? You probably want to target the one that's just standing still somewhere. Maybe lying down, sitting. <laughs> well, he sure stands out. My man is sweating. Damn. Oh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> and he took all of them out with that in the process. Love it. It's done. Oh! Oh shit! Yo! Hang on! 
Why did my guy throw himself at the building? Oh my god, he's just like, I'll just commit suicide instead of letting myself get caught. Yeah. Wow. R.I.P. I can't blame him for that decision he made, though. Doesn't sound like he wanted to be saved. Some people, when they break, they can't be put together again. Nah, I mean, he was. it was just about the future prospect of getting locked up. Plus the fact that he couldn't deal with, you know, the person he lost. Yeah, I may be the one in the suit doing all the running, but when I'm out there helping people, making a difference, you're all out there with me. Finally realized something. We were all struck by that lightning. <laughs> well, what a great speech. What a way to encourage them. Oh, it's more like gratitude, actually. You were wrong. You said that one of the things driving you to run around out there was that you couldn't help your dad. Hmm. You can't help him. Yeah, absolutely. That's everything that he's trying to achieve, of course. We're gonna figure out who or what killed your mother that night, and then we're gonna get your father out of prison. Together. Wow. I mean, that's what I was hoping was going to happen. Just took another episode longer than I thought. You tell me how to drive and shave? And you dropped me off at college. <laughs> Sounds a lot like a dad to me. Yeah, that's nice that he's actually expressing that now, though, because all this time he told him he wasn't. They've both come around. Every kid dreams of being a superhero, having power, saving people. But no kid thinks about what it's like when you're a hero and you're not saving people. And you still need people to help you with all of it. In some ways, that's the best part. She keeps getting, uh... Messages from people being saved, huh? I wonder how long it's gonna take for her to find out. It's bound to happen at some point, right? Can you imagine if you could control his power? If you could, if you could harness it, you could change what it means to be human. The man in the red mask is the key, and I'm gonna get him. Yeah, you guys are competitors. He's called the Flash. Or at least, he will be one day. Oh, dude, he just revealed to him. <gasps> Damn! Holy fuck! The fastest man alive. He must be kept. <gasps> kept, kept his. Safe. Yeah. Under his control. What the fuck is the deal with him? What is going on? Why, why is this so personal to him? Or at least... What does he have with Barry's family? I don't get that connection there. Still don't. Alright, anyway guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course, you can get early access to the next episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up, by the way, as a free member and watch at least the next episode already over there right now as well. So, I hope to see you there.